guys so it has now been six years since my acl and meniscus repair surgery as a reminder or for anyone who hasn't seen i also had a partial meniscectomy in may of 2019 and then i did not have any surgeries for three years until september 2022 when i had another partial meniscectomy so since that third surgery, I have not had any other surgeries or injections or anything in this me, and I have been back to professional soccer once again. So I just wanted to kind of go over how my knee is feeling now and give sort of a long-term view of what things can be like after having ACL surgery. First up is that, yes, I have had issues and more problems since my initial surgery. As I said, I had two other surgeries since then and both were partial meniscectomies of my medial meniscus. So, however, I did not have any re-injury to my ACL or my lateral meniscus. In terms of range of motion, I don't actively like measure that anymore, so I don't have specific numbers as I did early in my recovery, but overall my extension is the same. It's a couple of degrees hyperextension, and my flexion is slightly different. Um, I've talked about this before, but when they cleared me to return, they like really pushed my knee and said that my flexion was the same, but like in active practice, my flexion is not the same. However, it is enough where I have all of the flexion I need to perform my sports activities, so I don't notice any difference. However, in terms of like sitting on my knees or just doing certain stretches, I can definitely tell that my left knee is a little bit stiffer and does not have the exact same flexion as as for like quad size, I would say they're very close to being the same, um, but that I do struggle a little bit more just to keep that muscle on my left leg, my surgery leg, uh, and I really have to focus on it. Sometimes I do extra sets and reps on that leg because I do notice the quad just struggles a little bit more to keep up with my right quad. It took me about one year to return to soccer, but then of course I immediately had to get a partial meniscectomy, which caused me to have to go through another three months of recovery. But since about the end of 2019, I've been consistently back in soccer. I only missed a couple of months when I had to get this other partial meniscectomy. How this has been for me as an athlete, um, I would say for the first two years after my surgery, I noticed a lot more with my knee, like anterior knee pain, sort of like tendonitis, like I had been dealing with before my surgery. Um, but in the last couple of years, I haven't had nearly as much of an issue with any front knee pain or really knee pain in general. At this stage, I do not notice my knee when I'm playing. I don't think about it. I don't notice it at all. The only times that I draw my attention to it is if somebody sort of kicks me in the leg or does similar um, contact as to when I injured it, and that is fairly rare. So just want to talk about things that I do now to try to keep my knee as healthy as possible and also my other knee and joints because now I am 29 and playing professional soccer so it is a lot more wear and tear on my body. So one thing I do is take certain supplements. Um, mostly the supplements that I take are multivitamin, um, magnesium which is more so for sleep and also recovery protein because I really need to make sure I get enough of that each day to fuel my muscles and make sure those are recovering and also able to gain strength and adapt. And then the big one that I take like kind of specifically for my knee is collagen powder. The other really big thing that I do to keep my knee healthy and also try to prevent any re-injury is strength training. So during the season, I like to make sure I'm hitting lower body exercises a minimum of one to two times a week. In off season, I really like to go a little bit harder with the strength training and try to build up some of that muscle because inevitably it wears down over the course of a 10 month season when I'm running and playing so much. Another thing I commonly see people asking about or wondering is how to get past the fear of it. I definitely was for quite a while in my recovery in a long time, but um, my recovery was nearly a year long. And so throughout that time, I naturally was progressing toward soccer, which meant I was slowly tackling things I was afraid of in a controlled environment, which really helped me get past a lot of those fears. And at the end of the day, all you can do is work on what you can control and you can never control every aspect of the game. So. 
sports are one of those things that just carry a little bit of risk and you either have to accept it and um, be able to put your 100% in or you have to decide that it's too big of a risk for you.